Hello, my friends. Today is May 20. Our topic is frustrating life. Is there any time you have felt life is so hard? Is there any time you felt life is too frustrating? Or is there any time you felt life is the same game every single day? Today's devotion comes to us from two verses. Number one, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 11. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had done, and on the labor in which I had toiled, and indeed all was vanity and grasping for the wind. And the text number two for the devotion is Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Beloved, God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. When God finished his work and toil, he saw everything was good. But when King Solomon finished his work, it was vanity. Why? Why is it like that? Why many times our lives look meaningless? Sickness, failures, opposition, discouragement, frustration, and disappointments. And all these, just I said, are consistently attacking our peace of mind. Therefore, today's question is, how to manage my mind? How to manage my mind? We have to understand the philosophy of inner life. Number one, Ecclesiastes chapter two, verse two says, worldly happiness is temporary. How to manage our mind to get away from the frustrating life? We have to keep it in our mind that worldly happiness is always temporary. We all want to be happy. In order to be happy, we seek much pleasure. We watch TV program. We meet friends. But once the TV program is over, our problems embrace us again. Once the friends have gone, our pain comes back again. But the joy in Jesus Christ, which will never be snatched from us, joy of the Lord will come through prayer, through scriptures, and by mingling with God's people. So how to take away our lives from frustration? Number one is so outstanding that worldly happiness is always temporary. Number two, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 11 says, Trusting riches is disappointing. Trusting riches is disappointing. We work from early morning till sunset. We save money. We buy house and property. But still, there is no quietness and peace in our soul. There is no genuine satisfaction in our family. Job 1.21 says, Naked I came from my mother's womb. Naked I will leave. More than riches and prosperity, God's grace is important. God's mercy is important. Number three, Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 16 says, We will be one day forgotten. We will be forgotten. As long as we live, people will remember us. They will appreciate us. They will praise us. They will invite us. Once the spirit is left, our body, we are nothing. And our life will be insignificant. My friends, are you carrying a burden in your heart? Is your heart is not satisfied with anything? 
Are you tired of expecting something for your life? Here is the prophecy from Exodus chapter 23, 25. So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water. I will take sickness away from the midst of you. My friends, Jesus is your life's provider, and he will not forsake you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, many times our lives are frustrating, disappointments, discouragements. But please help us to believe that worldly pleasure, worldly happiness is temporary. Only God's mercy is eternal. Therefore, dear Lord, take us, mold us, and use us for your cause. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you.